Richard from the Cotton Textile Company. For 30 years now, we've been bringing brands to life through textiles, and most importantly, specialising in the art of terry weaving and jacquard weaving. For those of you that saw our last episode, you'll remember we finished talking about relief weaving or creating an embossed or debossed image that subtly and effectively brings your brand to life in a terry product in one colour. Today, I'd like to talk about the incorporation of additional colours. Now, in the world of terry weaving, if you can imagine an Excel spreadsheet where the column is our warp thread and the row is our weft thread, as you can see here, all of the columns are different colours. Now, in a town, per centimetre, you have somewhere between 11 and 15, depending on how the, how the loom is set up, different yarns. So the column or the warp can be as wide or as thin as you like, and you can have as many different colours as you choose going through the body of the towel. Within the weft, however, you can only realistically incorporate one additional colour. So as you'll see here, if you can imagine uh, the, uh, the monkey in the organ of yesteryear, where the, the monkey turned the organ, and within the organ, there was a piece of card that went round and round and round. That is our jacquard, and the holes in that jacquard are what created the music with the organ, and indeed today, they're what allow us to pick the different colours up to create a design within a Terry product. So here, let's take the yellow, for example. We've got the yellow warp coming down, and then the jacquard has allowed us to pick up the black and put it through to create a design. So one of the limitations we have is that in any given column, we can have a background color and one other. But there are ways of manipulating the loom and manipulating the design to allow us to incorporate three or even four different colors. So if we look here within this towel, as you can see within any given warp or any given weft or row or column, we have three colors, the black, the white, and the red. And if you look, as you go through the body of the towel, they crisscross over each other. There's no straight line. What we've done here is to use what we call an effect weave, which is a slightly different texture, but it allows you to perfectly represent a brand. We then think about, well, hang on a minute, there's a fourth color. So within this particular towel here, as you can see with the tractor, it's a gray color. And we've achieved that by exposing what we call the ground warp, the, the, the mesh that makes up the towel, therefore allowing for yet another color to be introduced. As you can see, we have ways of, of manipulating loom and designing the product to represent your brand. If you have any concerns about how your brand might be represented in a Terry product, please send us your message or your logo, and we can advise you as to how it will best work. I hope this brief introduction to Jackal Weaving has been of interest to you. If you'd like to follow us and like to see more, please do so on YouTube or any of the social media channels. As you can tell, I'm a bit of a dinosaur, so I'm not very well up on social media, but I'm told that you would be. So thank you for listening. And if you'd like to see the next episode when we'll be talking about digital printing, please do follow us.